G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another awesome vlog. And today we're talking about this. What is the number one investment that everyone should be doing this year? Let's get it started. Okay guys, so I guess this vlog is going to be a little bit corny because you probably heard it before. Um, but look, I think that the number one investment that you guys can make this year um, is in yourself, okay? And this is why I think that. Um, the market is at all time highs. I said this in a previous uh, a vlog. Um, real estate prices have surpassed the levels of 2006. The stock market is at all time highs. Things are getting very expensive. There's not that many opportunities out there anymore. Um, and, and trust me when I say this because I travel around the country a lot. I go to a lot of conferences, a lot of events, a lot of real estate related stuff. Um, and you know, a lot of people are starting to talk about a lack of inventory, not enough supply. Um, you know, uh, uh, prices are going up, rents are increasing. Um, and, and you know, all of these things, they make me a little bit uneasy. Um, I'm not really happy because of it, even though if you watch CNBC, you know, a lot of the earnings reports are coming out with, um, they, they're all meeting expectations, the companies are doing well, the economy is in good shape. But look, personally, I don't know, just the gut instinct is telling me that something's not right. You know, I'm not saying I'm Nostradamus, I'm not saying that I can predict the future by any means. Something is just not sitting right with me. Um, and I guess why that is, is because um, in December of last year, the stock market pulled back 10% um, or whatever it was. And I saw, I saw a lot of fear um, in a lot of investors. Uh, you know, the first quarter of this year um, was tough for our company because a lot of people were, were on the sidelines. They didn't want to invest. They didn't want to buy real estate. And that was just after a you know, little decline, even though the market's been booming for the last 10 years. So that's very interesting to me how a stock market decline can cause fear amongst investors where everyone kind of freezes, okay? These are things that you need to be careful of. Um, so why do I say invest in yourself? This is why, guys, because the information equals power, okay? So the more that you know, the more powerful you are. I know it's a little bit corny once again, but it, it is the truth. And I have been, you know, very kind of um, a tunnel visioned when it comes to real estate investing. It's my bread and butter. I love real estate. That's all I do. It's my passion. And once again, that's all I've done. But there are a lot of other investment vehicles out there um, which, you know, can offer some fantastic returns. I think that as real estate investors, there's a key word there within those three and it's, and it is investor and an investor can be in stocks, um, in oil and gas and other businesses, right? So I think that you should expand your horizon. Um, you should know more uh, investment vehicles out there than just one. Um, you should look at potentially diversifying. You know, they say that the average millionaire has five different streams of income, okay? Real estate being one of them, uh, royalties, dividends, um, uh, business, you know, these are all other investment vehicles where a lot of successful people will generate passive income from or lump sum capital gains or cash, right? Um, so invest in yourself, guys, uh, you know, attend various uh, events. Um, uh, network with uh, individuals that are successful in their respectable or um, respected uh, industry. Uh, you know, uh, your network equals your net worth. You, you can't stop learning. And, you know, I, I love the saying, if you're not green and growing, you're ripe and rotting. Okay, so there's always something to learn. Um, be the dumbest person in the room. That's something that I've always endeavored to be. I'm not the smartest guy out there. I quit school at a very young age. I've got no formal education. Um, but you know, I've always brushed shoulders with people who are where I want to be, who are much smarter and more successful than I am. And then eventually you pick up a few things you learn. So something that I'm doing this year, guys, um, I've got a lot of dry powder ready. 
Um, I, I'm still doing some great deals in the Midwest. I think there's a lot of opportunity here. The market hasn't recovered. There's still a lot of foreclosures. Uh, I truly feel like a kid in a candy store here. So check out the Midwest, a lot of opportunities here. But invest in yourself. You know, buy a book on uh, stocks, on, on whatever it may be. Um, expand your horizon, go to the conferences, read up on various online blogs, on forums. Um, uh, you know, and, and just truly invest in yourself. That's my message to you guys um, for this year, uh, what you should be doing, where you should be investing, and um, then just wait, uh, wait and see what the market is gonna do, where it's gonna go, and then maybe you can pull the trigger and, and um, invest in real estate or whatever it may be again, um, and make some, some great gains from it. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed listening. Um, really appreciate your time, and um, hey, that's pretty much it. I'm Angela Ramora, I'm your favorite Australian, and the real estate dingo. I'll catch you in the next vlog. Have a great day.